Hi students, welcome to Max class. Today, by seeing the board, you can easily understand that you are learning today successor and predecessor of a number. What we are learning today? Successor and predecessor of a number. Okay. One second, children. Okay. Now, coming to the class. What is successor? What is predecessor? These are the new words for us. No, we didn't listen successor and predecessor. Nothing but successor is nothing but the number which comes after. Nothing but here after number. What is successor then? After number. Okay, just you are going to add one for the given number. Then that number is called successor. Then what is predecessor? It is just simply opposite to the successor. So you are going to right before number the number which comes before that is called predecessor means instead of using successor predecessor instead of using after number and before number we are using the words successor and predecessor we are using the words successor and predecessor now we'll just solve this with the help of some examples in this the given they are asking us to write write successor for the following numbers right successors for the following numbers so how to write successor what we discuss successor means you are going to write that comes just after it okay so after that means after number only we will be writing now we are going to write so in this the last digit that is once digit only is going to change because we will not get the whole number is going to change. It means C1's 72,086. What I said, you have to add one for that. So if you add one, what will happen? Only the six, which is in the ones place, that is going to change. Rest all the digits will come as it is. After six, what will come to us? Yes, seven. So isn't it easy to you? Now in the same way, we'll write 80,209 plus one equals two. So after nine, what will come to us? 10, right? So 10 is a two digit number, means you have to go for 210. Now in the same way, 36,099 plus one, what will happen? Equals to, yes, 36,000. After 99, what will come? See, remember children, Whenever you are getting 9, what will happen? You have to consider the previous digit also. Then only we can easily get it. To confuse you only, I give it like that. Okay, ma? Don't confuse over there. So, 36,099 after 100 will come. So, that is the reason 36,100. Now, see here. Here also 999 is there. Means what? 52,999. What will come? Ah, 5 lakhs, 53,000. This is the only change you have to remember here. Now it is easy for you. 4 lakhs, 99,360 plus 1 equals 2. So 360 plus 1, what is the next number? 0 after what number will come? Yes, 1 will come. So 4 lakhs, 99,361. Now see, last question also I given in nines. So, 8 lakhs, 8 lakhs, 14,999. So, 999 after what will come? 1,000. Already here I have 4,000, 14,000. So, what number will come? Yes, 14,000 after we have 15,000. Very good. So, the answer is 8 lakhs, 50. Now we'll write predecessors for that. What we'll write? Predecessors for that. Okay, one second. One second, children. 